In this video, I'm gonna show you how to clean up the map that we made in the previous video. If you haven't checked that out already, make sure to do it right now or else this video won't make any sense. So the problem was that if I hovered over one of the polygons, there's just too much information being shown on the map. So I wanna cut down the columns that I don't want and keep the ones that I still want to be displayed. And it's gonna take me a couple of minutes to solve this problem, so keep watching till the end. Let's say that when I hover over one of the polygons, I only wanna see the community pop2014 and property underscore C values. And I'm gonna say the file is equal to file and then make sure to put two sets of brackets and inside the inner brackets you want to specify all the columns so i'll say community and then pop 2014 and then property c and remember we need to have the geometry column still because we want the data frame to be able to display the map when we call the explore method so i'm going to say geometry and then let's just take a look at the data frame. So yeah, it looks pretty clean now. Just the four columns that we want. And now I'm gonna create the updated map by just creating a new cell and then saying updated map is equal to file.explore. And if you remember from last video, this method is basically provided by GeoPandas and it automatically shows the interactive map. And I, I'm gonna pass in the column that I wanna see which is the property crimes in Chicago. And then if I run that, it looks pretty good. And if I hover over one of the polygons, then it looks a lot better now because it only shows the columns that I want, the community population and the property crime rates. So that's good. But there's actually one more thing that I wanna do. Okay, so technically we're pretty much done but I just want to do a bit more just as like a final touch. So if I hover over one of the polygons, if you look again, you can see that pop2014 and property underscore C. If you haven't looked at the data set description, you might not know what those columns are supposed to represent. So I'm going to rename them to something that makes more sense to everyone. So I'm going to say file is equal to file.rename, which is the method that will rename the columns that you want. And you pass in a dictionary. So for the keys, you put in the original, the original column. So I'm going to say community, and I'm going to rename that to neighborhood. And I'm going to rename the next column, which is pop2014, to population in 2014, because that makes more sense. And then finally, the property underscore C going to be property crime and so if I run the new if I run the new data frame then the columns look a lot better now all right now I'm going to make the updated map again by saying updated underscore map is equal to file dot explore but this time instead of saying property underscore C remember that I changed the column so now I have to say property crime and then if I run that, then if I hover over one of the polygons, you can see that all the columns are changed now and that looks a lot better. And yeah, that's basically all I got for this video. If you want to see me make more types of visuals inside of Python, then make sure to subscribe. And yeah, thanks for watching.